And this is why, Masi, we, we want to share with the, the, the listeners and the viewers is this. You couldn't have trial and error of astronomical and navigational knowledge yeah. when you start off. Because why? You go out, you get lost, you die. This is dangerous stuff. So this is the reason why our position is the knowledge to navigate had to predate the civilization. You had to have this knowledge in order to build the empire. You weren't going to build it through trial and error because you just, you can't, you'll die, you get lost. This is, you know, thousands and thousands of miles and you had to know exactly where these little specks of land were, right? If you are off by just one degree and you're a thousand miles away, you'll never yep. hit that piece of land. Yep. So yep. this knowledge had to be pre-existing mm -hmm. and that's where we're saying this is where this it knowledge came from. came from. It built the Polynesian Empire. It did not come on its own or from trial and error and originate here. This is, I mean, and then this is the another thing that Danny brought up that was very interesting that I think is very, very powerful is in Polynesia, like we talked about Masi, right? The guy from Hawaii shows up in Tonga, speaks the language fluently, basically. They can have complex conversations. The, the Hawaiian guy already understands the customs and, you know, when to eat, how to eat, how to behave, how food is treated and, you know, how to mm -hmm. interact and understands the, the, uh, the hierarchy of things. It was a Polynesian empire. It was one nation, one culture, one people, one language. And, and, and the decision, the, the conscious decision to say Kava, the Kava ceremony is the means by which we conduct official business. It's to say, this is how we, once again, it's the civilization. What makes a civilization is they've made a decision. This is how we operate. This is how we behave. And this is how we speak. And mm. there was a conscious decision by Polynesians that Kava would serve that role of being the unifying identifier that if the Tuitonga came, you, you would present yourself with Kava. That would be a way of not only showing respect to the Tuitonga, but it would let the Tuitonga know I'm talking with the right people. Yeah.